Hey everyone, Rodrigo Tosca here. In today's video, you're gonna be learning how to find reference videos for a project, why you should be creating a storyboard, how to plan and work with talent, and when you should be capturing B-roll. Now, if you're new to the channel, I run a video production agency specializing in working with small to medium-sized businesses. In today's video, you're gonna see inserts from our latest project with Easy Own Car Sales. Let's get right into it. Now, when looking for reference videos, the number one place you wanna to go to is YouTube. And how you wanna start this process is by going to YouTube and typing in the search terms for what you're looking for. And this really applies for any video project that you're working on. In this situation, all different types of keywords that could fit what we were looking for. And we created a playlist with about 15 to 20 videos for ideas. Now for this, what you wanna do is go over to filters. From filters, click on this year and then click on short. This is gonna give you the shortest length videos, but also the newest. Now, don't stray away from looking at past and older videos for getting examples and ideas for scripts. After you have a bunch of different inspirations for videos, the next thing you wanna start doing is creating your script. After you have your script finalized, our next step is to go to canva.com and use one of their pre-made templates to start laying out our script. And then next, you wanna go to Shutterstock and look for all the different images that might fit the story that you're looking for, and then upload those to Canva to create your storyboard. So another reason to have a storyboard present is that this storyboard before the shoot starts gets sent over to the client, and the client approves this so they know exactly what the end video is gonna look like. This is kind of a reassurance for you as a creator that you're not spending any time creating something that the client's not gonna like. Now from your storyboard, the next thing you wanna do is create a shot list of everything that you're gonna need, which leads us to our next step, planning and working with talent. Now when shooting with talent, the first thing that you wanna do is to plan out all the shots with talent first. I mean, one of the main reasons is that when working with business owners, they tend to get busy or very limited on time. So by you capturing all the stuff needed with them first, it really clears up the rest of your day to capture the, the different things that are not necessary for them to be around. Now for the first thing that we did for this, we actually moved the car out of the sun into a shady area next to the building where we were able to get consistent light throughout the project. And now when we actually figured out where we're actually framing the car at, the next thing that we did is that I went and acted as the actor and walking in and out of the frame and reacting the things that we're gonna be capturing while Gabe or DP made sure that everything looked good on camera. And the reason you wanna do that is that you don't wanna spend time with the actual talent if things are not ready to go. You wanna make this as smooth as possible. So for this situation, what we wanted to do is we planned out our salesperson to be interacting with the customer as the first parts of our shot. After we had everything set up with framing, we actually brought them over. We showed them the storyboard so they know what exactly we're looking for. And then I also spent time with them going over what I want them to do and pretty much reenacting these parts for them so they could see exactly what we're looking to capture. Now we have them redo the scenes over again about five to six times. We actually captured this in different frame rates to give us more flexibility in post-production. So after you capture all the necessary things with the talent, you're gonna move on to the next step is capturing your B-roll. Now following your storyboard for the project, you're gonna capture everything needed. And then from there, capture any other necessary B-roll that you might see relevant to help tell the story or anything that you might have not thought of that now that you're actually the facility might seem interesting that you wanna include in the video. So for us, we use a lot of different shots using the Ronin or even a drone just to show the vast variety of different cars that they had here. If you found this video helpful, consider hitting subscribe and leaving us a like or even a comment for any upcoming videos or tutorials that you might wanna learn and as always thanks for watching need a car but have bad credit no credit repo bankruptcy first time buyer or passport only at easy own car sales everyone is approved no dealer fees with over 200 vehicles to choose from all covered by a one-year limited warranty we're here to help you find the perfect vehicle that fits your budget shop online at easyowncarsales.com or visit us north of pga on us1 call today to schedule your test drive Easy Owned Car Sales.